Hello, my name is Sepanta Rahmanipur. I am 13 years old. I am electronic designer in Power Team. And this is my first experience in RoboCup tournament. Hi, I am Kulan Sepanta and I am 15 years old. I work as a mechanic in Power Team. This is my first experience in RoboCup tournament. Hi, I am Mohamed Amin Seyfullah, programmer of Power Team. I am 16 years old and I participated in RoboCup simulation league last year. Hello, I am Yana I am a robot programmer and leader of Power Team. Uh, I have been uh, working in robotics for five years, but this is my first time uh, competition. In this robot, LDR sensors are used to detect the outline. The left, right, and back LDR boards are arranged in a T-shape, but the front LDRs are divided into two parts due to the collision with the shooter system. For better detection, LDR boards are located at the lowest part of the robot. The robot shooter system consists of two electromagnetic and electronic parts. The electromagnetic part is a coil that has a core inside and this part is located in the mouth of the robot. The electronic part is a board that boosts the voltage and controls the system and this section is located in the middle of the robot and blow the motherboard. Four motors are used to control the robot and these motors are also controlled by L6200 drivers. The drivers take program by processor and then execute them and command the motors. The motors are in the middle part of robot. The robot uses the gyroscope GY25 module to detect its direction. The sensor is located on the motherboard. The processor of the robot is Arduino, which is a powerful processor with ARM architecture and is installed on the motherboard. The image processing system consists of two parts, mirror and camera. In this robot, the Pixie 2 module is used to process the image and find the ball and this part is located above the processor. The mirror is located at the highest point of the robot. In this technical challenge, we use sharp distance sensors to detect the position of the robot. First, when the robot is at the rear, the robot saves the initial position west or east by comparing the distance from the walls. While the ball is not in the robot's range of vision, the robot moves to the opposite side of the initial position by moving crookedly. If the robot approached the opposite side wall and didn't see the ball, moves forward to check the next point. When the robot sees the ball, the robot goes to the back of the ball and the ball is placed in the ball capturing zone. When the robot catches the ball, the robot's spin rolls fast and it doesn't let the ball get out of the ball capturing zone in movement, then moves towards the goal by moving crookedly. When LDR optical sensors under the robot detect the white line of the penalty area, the robot stops moving and spin rolls reverse to push the ball towards the goal. For the goal the robot, first we had to specify the range of movement in front of the goal. First, we used ultrasonic distance sensors to detect this range, but because of the wide viewing angle of this sensor, the robot had a mistake in detecting the wall and goal range. So now we use sharp distance sensors to detect the range of the goal. It goes back. When the ball is not, is not in the robot's range of vision to make the robot ready to defend quickly, the robot takes itself to the middle of the goal. This is plate of our robot. We made compartment of LDRs, motors, plates of shooter, and ball capturing zone with coral program. We have a circle in the middle of our robot to fit the wires in the floors. 
the robot was small and the ball capturing zone was also smaller. So a spin was hard to make. I use round plastic for a spin to catch the ball. We have a metal handle on the mirror. I placed the sharp sensor around the pixie so that pixie doesn't see them. The ball capturing zone sensors are on both sides of them. The motors are 2v2 in front of each other. The battery compartment is between the handle and the mirror. We use Pixie to find the ball and we divide the circle around the robot into 16 parts and by adjusting the motor's speed robot goes behind. The ball when robot catch the ball and the ball capturing zone detected. We turn on the spin and we detect goal ball increase. The speed of the motors and move toward. The opponent goal we use earlier and sharp sensors to detect goalkeeper area and playing field. When robot detect goalkeeper area, we stop the robot and the shoot. I use Pixie Moon to test Pixie and we test the ball capturing zone sensor with serial monitor. We were checking the LDRs one by one and we check them with a multimeter. I use serial monitor for sharp S mini shooter and zero. For testing we use Bluetooth to connect to robots. But we had a lot of trouble finding the location of the ball and uh, tried to When a striker robot don't see the ball, the goalie robot sends the position of the ball to a striker robot. When the ball is in the right of goalie robot, that sends character R to a striker robot. And when the, the ball is in the, in the left of goalie robot, that sends character L. And when, the, and when the ball is front of the goalie robot, that sends character M. And when both robots don't see the ball, the striker robot goes back. Our programming language is C++ and we type it with the Arduino program. We use the Arduino processor for processing. Uh, we use the serial monitor for LDR and uh, sharp and spin. And we use Bluetooth module to connect to robots. 